Hello again, Clara here, and today we're concepting Jarvis, the man for hire. I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving break, whether you celebrated recently or sooner for our Canadian friends. This one got posted a wee bit later than I would have liked. Holidays, birthdays, and figuring out a good voiceover can do that to you. I have decided on quality over quantity, and I'm sticking to it. And if you do not know me, I go by Clara and I create characters in the worlds they live in. First order of business is working on concepting characters for the first graphic novel. And today, Clara is doing what she does best and bites off more than she can chew. Don't worry, I'll forget and do this all over again later. You can count on me. This one took me much longer than normal to create as I introduced new challenges to myself in this one. I am continuing to push my boundaries as an artist, which is not a bad thing really, and fleshing out a living, breathing scene as you would see in the comic. This is the first time I've ever attempted this pose and perspective, and you will see over time that I tweak it a bit here or there as I get used to it. Drawing the bottoms of his boots took me quite some time, as this was yet another thing I never really put much attention to in the past. And yes, it is time. It is time for references. I referenced the pose, I referenced the perspective of his feet, I referenced his boots and his hat, his coat. In past videos, I spoke about how I was intentionally avoiding using references as a personal test to gauge where I was. And since I only saw art as a fun hobby most of my life, I never put a lot of effort into references, so I knew my mental library would dry up real quick. Times are changing and so am I. My Pinterest board is suffocating with a billion references that I know I will forget I have. But they're there, and hopefully I can always go back for inspiration or to study to further my skill. Each drawing has its own folder on my computer, where I keep all the references I use for each piece. Not only did I fill my plate with a living pose, I also wanted to give him an environment to exist in. And lucky me, he's inside a very pompous noble's house. I wanted to fill the room much more with trinkets and decor, but I had to actually snip a few things to keep my workflow timely. The more I worked on this piece, the more I thought about how rendered do I want the comic pages to be, keeping them up to my expectations of quality while also delivering them in a timely manner. My goal is to have at least one page posted a week to start, which means I will need to find a happy medium between character and background details so each page is enjoyable to look at and read and really immerses the reader, but while also keeping realistic with a proper posting schedule. I've seen comics that post weekly, and they go on for years. I have many more stories I want to write the script for, so many more characters to share with you. So far, my current guess is a painterly background, with the farther away being more painterly, and the closer objects in the background to be slightly more rendered and relevant. I'm sort of dabbling with that concept here. A noble's room is usually grossly ornate, full of showing off their power and riches. Theron is no exception. The nobles of Torglan collect artifacts and relics from the destroyed ruins of fallen cities before the still wall went up, making their houses very, very cluttered. Going back to this piece, I swapped the brush I was using for line art in the past few videos to a slightly softer one to try it out. The downside with this brush is that it jacks up my wrist real good if I use it for too long. I may have to dabble with the pressure sensitivity for my wrist sake. While I like the matte brush, I want to see what a picture will look like with a softer line. I can always go back with a final layer, adding sharpness and texture where need be with the matte brush. This one is medium diluted. Now to talk about the character for a little bit. Jarvis is the fun character in the story and he's your typical man for hire. If you got the coin, he got the time. Now, Jarvis don't give to about etiquette or manners, so he's plopped his feet up on Grand Duke Theron's desk as they negotiate out a contract. He's as skilled as they come with both a renowned and hated reputation. He knows this, he abuses this, you love him, you hate him, it's Jarvis. He brings his collapsible crossbow with him anywhere he goes, with interchangeable bolt packs for the situation. To stun, to snare, to poison, to extinguish. It's a Swiss army knife and old faithful. The entire time I've been drawing this, I've been wanting to steal Jarvis's coat. It looks so warm and fluffy. The cold doesn't really bother me, but that doesn't mean I won't deny the creature comforts of being warm and cozy. Unfortunately, I had to make the executive decision to remove the guards. They weren't just sitting right within the background, as much as I wanted to keep their very excited faces to see Jarvis. 
I believe I'm almost done with the character concept series, which I will tuck into a nice little playlist for folks later. We only have a few more to go. Right now we are finishing Jervis. The next will be Geranius, Solus's right hand man. Then Horace, Theron Dalton's older brother. I may add Arcturus to this series, or just keep adding new concept videos to the playlist as the story goes on and we get more characters. I want to get their appearances down, their basic attires, and their personalities. I believe after this series, I will be continuing to experiment with different styles to find just the right balance for comic pages. And I really wish I could make this video a wee bit longer, but while the art is not that challenging for me, minus challenging myself, the voiceovers are the hardest part for me in creating these little fun videos. Even if I bullet point or try to script it out, I just... I'm not a very talkative person. I envy those who can just create 30, 40 minute long videos and it's all just enjoyable to listen to. I'm sure with time and practice, I'll get a little better each time. But right now, it's just... Bleh. Next video will be Gerenius. And we'll be playing with some heart shadows in that one. Thank you for hanging out today. If you like, share, and subscribe, it helps support my channel and what I do. And I will see you in next video. Have a good day.